और कार्यक्रम को आगे बढ़ाएंगे हमारा सौभाग्य है कि हमारे साथ भारतीय छात्र संसद के समापन समारोह में विशिष्ट आध्यात्मिक गुरु उपस्थित हैं जिन्होंने सर्वधर्म संभाव को पूरे विश्व में पहुंचाने का काम किया अपने योगी गुरु महेश्वर नाथ बाबा जी के चरणों में बैठकर अपने को खोजा अपने को पाया मेरी मुराद आप समझ गए हैं द सत्संग फाउंडेशन के प्रेसिडेंट आध्यात्मिक गुरु मुमताज अली खान साहब विश्वनाथ कारट राहुल कारट डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम स्वामी मिस सरोज पांडे एमपी, डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर परशुराम डॉक्टर चंद्रकांत पांडव अदर डिग्नेटरीज एंड डियर फ्रेंड्स you are the future leaders of this country so first let me do namaskar to you i begin with an ancient prayer from the vedas i wish i could talk in hindi wo theek se nahi hota hai sorry i begin with an ancient prayer from the vedas you must have heard it in many functions but i will explain it to you सहना सहनो भुनक्तु सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वी नवदी तमस्तुमा विद्विषा वह ओं शांति 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 न प्लीज नोट दट द की वर्ड इज सहा सहा मीन्स म्यूचुअली यू एंड मी द स्पीकर एंड द लिसनर द टीचर एंड द टॉट the rulers and the ruled raja and praja it means sahana bhavatu me both of us not only raja but also praja be protected sahano bhunaktu me we both be nourished sah viryam karva vahe me our viryas energies increase tejasvina vadi tamastu me the spiritual light of tejas increase in all of us i think seeing the trend of today that the tejas will increase and the virya is already there i see so much shaking of hands and waving of hands so you are the youth and the future of this country i plead with you that you transform your psyche and get into action there was a time when by and large intellectuals the industrious the efficient and the good natured thought that politics was not their calling that includes me and that there were others who would take care of it this has resulted in the present state of this ancient country i think it's time to change that mindset and for the bright and the good and the intelligent to enter into politics if you have to save this country from disaster i'm saying this with all sincerity there is the story of a professor in the united states who was being transferred and another professor was taking over this is a story the professor said to him sir when you take over the class give good care to those who are sitting in the front line because they are the intelligent industrious bright students tomorrow they become technicians scientists great people but they don't forget the middle line they are not so bright but they will become businessmen and industrialists and employ the guy sitting in the front row then he said the last line you will see some of them just reading novels and wasting their time don't neglect them because they will enter politics unfortunately this is a completely wrong idea which has been given to us because 
Today we see so many distinguished people in parliament. To quote one example, there is Dr. Subramaniam Swami from Harvard. So how can this be? So get rid of this idea that politics is not for you and me, and not for me of course, that politics is something for a special set of people. Now, I want to quote a few uh, quotations from Swami Vivekananda. This is very, very important. What we need today is the French benchers and the middle benchers to enter politics. That's what we need. One needs to prepare for it. I'm sure the MIT is doing its best in this regard, as I see in this student's parliament. Here are a few quotations from the great Swami Vivekananda. One, what our country now needs are muscles of iron and nerves of steel, gigantic wills which nothing can resist. Two, neither money pays, nor name, nor fame, nor learning. It is character that can cleave through adamantine walls of difficulty. I hope you are listening. Three, my hope of the future lies in the youths of character, intelligent, renouncing all for the service of others, who can sacrifice their lives for this country at large. Four, he is an atheist who does not believe in himself. The old religion said that he was an atheist who did not believe in God. The new religion says he is an atheist who does not believe in himself. And five, the earth is enjoyed by heroes. This is the unfailing truth. The Swami Vivekananda, please, not me. Be a hero. Let me add also heroine. Always say I have no fear. Take up one idea. Make that idea your life. Think of it, dream of it, live on that idea. Let the brain, the muscles, the nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea. This is the key to success. Now, a few important points from the Artha Shastra of Kautilya also known as Vishnu Gupta and identified with Chanakya, 350 to 83 BC, a scholar at the great university of Takshashila and teacher of the emperor Chandragupta Maurya. Now you must understand that Artha is the second of the principles which define what an ideal society should be practicing. Dharma or virtue comes first. Artha, which can be defined as the science of economics and politics, comes next. Kama or legitimate desire, governed by the first two, is the third. And moksha, total freedom, is the culmination of spiritual life. That comes last. Now the Artha Shastra says, please listen to what Artha Shastra thinks of what the ruler should think. In the happiness of his subjects lies the ruler's happiness. In their welfare, his welfare. He shall not consider as good only that which pleases him, but that which is beneficial to him, to whatever pleases his subjects. A wise ruler is called a Rajarishi. According to Kautilya, Rajarishi has self-control, associates with elders, keeps his eyes open through the intelligence network, is ever active in promoting security and welfare of the people, ensures the observance of righteousness by authority and example, improves his own discipline by continuing to learn, very important, continuing to learn, endears himself to his people by enriching them and doing good to them. In another place, the Artha Shastra says, I'll finish soon. I have only 10 minutes. Only a ruler who is wise, disciplined, 
devoted to a just governing of subjects and conscious of the welfare of all beings will enjoy the earth unopposed i am sure that artha shastra forms part of your curriculum but if it doesn't i suggest it should this masterpiece of state craft so friends i am going to wind up to quote bhartrahari who in his neeti shataka says please remember this carefully the fool never begins a work for fear of failure the mediocre gives up in the middle frustrated by obstruction but the one with confidence never gives up in spite of failures till the goal is reached please remember that thomas alva edison conducted 1000 experiments before the electric bulb was invented can you believe this now we don't know just switch on and the light comes so remember the words of krishna in the gita who said to arjuna stand up and fight ancient vedic dictum says utishta jagrata very popular with swami vivekananda who was never tired of quoting utishta jagrata prapya varan nibodha rise rise away can stop not till you reach the goal also i want to tell you someone else also said this you are not aam aadmis no pun intended you are not ordinary people you are not the ordinary you are the extraordinary great qualities are in you waiting to be brought to the fore therefore march forward don't sit back in lethargy and let the reins of history of this country go to the mediocre let this be the century of excellence and when you pursue this please remember the words of tulsidas kaam krodh mad lobh ki jolo man me sthan tavlo pandit murk tulsi ek saman please remember these words and following the words of sri krishna in the gita develop the quality of sarva bhuta hite rata kindness towards all living beings thank you very much namaskar बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्री एम जी